What's up everyone? So finally the Civic makes it to YouTube. I know I posted on my Instagram many times, but as far as the YouTube channel goes, it hasn't made it here yet and it's filthy. As you can see, it's been sitting here since November. We've barbecued in the garage. I've done some woodwork inside the house. I've cut wood outside. All that is just sitting on the type R right now. It probably, probably would have been a good idea for me to get a car cover. So come November this year, I will definitely have a car cover for it and hopefully it can look a lot better than this when it comes out for uh, next season. So today I'm gonna start the uninstall process of the parts that I need to replace. So the intake, the down pipe and the front pipe. And once all that's completed, then I'll start the opposite. I'll install the new pipes and the new intake, which is also a pipe. And yeah, after that's done, I've got the Han data. So we'll take it over to the next mod, APH and Brian will be doing the tune on this. I'm hoping for anywhere close to 325 to the wheel. I think that's a pretty good for a street car, especially, in the, as, especially how light this car is. It would be great. I had 330 in the TSX when it was on the street. So it's not too far off from what I had before, which would be great. So yeah, we're gonna start under the hood and we're gonna start taking out that OEM intake, all that plastic pieces and the ridiculous clips that it probably comes with. So I'm going to run that. So now everything is out. We've got on the floor right here, we've got the, uh, I guess in order of the way I took them out, 
the intake top pipe, down pipe, and the front pipe. Uh, the hardest thing I think that took the long, longest time was to get uh, this front bolt that's beside the rad. I think that bolt took the longest. I mean, I probably spent about, I think I probably spent about a half hour just on getting that heat sheet bolt off, which was kind of annoying. But the total time to take everything off is with breaks, like, you know, with going inside, you know, getting a cup of tea and coming back out using the washroom, whatever. Uh, with breaks, you can get this done in under three hours. I'll always push this, right? I'm not a skilled trade person. Everything I'm doing, I'm just learning as I go. And, you know, just like you guys watching a YouTube video, watching reviews on different ways people do things, and just coming in here and trying it. Uh, I think the worst fear is getting stuck and then having to take it to a shop, but whatever, at least you try. And as you can see for the front pipe, after I loosened the three bolts, I just twisted the, let's say if I'm standing this way, the front of the car is that, the back is there. So I twisted it clockwise and tried to take it out, but then the heat shield was in the way. So I hope I can get this. It's a little difficult to see, but there's just two 10 mil bolts on each side of the heat shield. I took those off and I was trying to make some space for the heat shield, uh, sorry, for the front pipe to uh, come off. And all I did was push up on that heat shield. And as you can see from the video, the front pipe just dropped right out. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on putting back everything together. And if I can put it back together in under three hours, that means this will be a total of a six hour job, which isn't that bad from going from our completely stock car, pretty much other than the wheels, to a slightly modded car, right? And then uh, we'll have to take it for a rip. Anyways. I'm gonna split this video into two parts. So this will be part one for the removal and un uninstallation. And the second part will be just putting back everything together. So yeah, peace out.